Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your 60-minute flow practice. Well, really about 57 minutes because we're on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to give about a minute to let everybody get uh, in the room, so to speak, and then we're going to get started. Uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time talking. I want to get moving. I'm sure you do too. Uh, just a couple quick things. Welcome to have a block with you. Uh, should go without saying. If you got a block, just have it nearby. You may use it, you may not. Uh, if you are playing our bingo challenge, which is pretty fun, uh, this could count as your invigorating morning flow. Um, so check that out if you have not done so already. My name is Morgan. Hello, Leona! Yay! Um, I've got a couple friends joining that have never taken my class before, so this is kind of an exciting part of doing this online, uh, is that we potentially get to connect uh, with people we have yet to do so because coming into the studio um, can be quite challenging sometimes. So i um, happy you are all here. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the comments off. Okay. Oh, I just saw Maya popped in too. Yes. Happy to have you. Um, all right, y'all. So let's get started. I'm going to play some music on my end for you and uh, let's start on our backs. Okay. So go ahead and lie down. Let your palms face up and your toes fall out. All right, just make yourself comfortable as you take a moment to land on your mat, in your body, and in your breath. Imagine that you have permission to be happy and to really enjoy your life. Imagine Imagine living your life without fear of expressing your dreams. Imagine living your life without the fear of being judged by others. Living your life without judging others. Imagine living without the fear of loving. Imagine that you love yourself just the way you are. It is your perception of reality that you can change at any time. You have the power to create hell, and you have the power to create heaven. So what will you choose to create today? All together, big breath in through the nose, and a full sigh out of the mouth. Go ahead and do that again. Big breath in, fill all the way up. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Seal your lips, take your breath in through your nose. Keep your lips sealed and breathe out through your nose. Let's find a slightly longer breath in through the nose. And then a deeper breath out through the nose. Cultivating your ujjayi breath once more here. Breathe in. Through the nose, breathe out. Draw your belly down and in. Stretch your arms overhead. Grab opposite elbows. And then lengthen along both sides of your body as you reach down through your toes. Release the elbows, stretch through the fingers, get even longer. Bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, give yourself a gentle hug in and a little rock from side to side. So please know that if you need to modify or choose alternate variations as we move through this practice today, you are always welcome to do so. Roll all the way over to your right side and make your way into a tabletop. As you arrive there, spread the fingers wide, hips over your knees. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the tailbone. Through the nose, exhale. 
exhale, round the spine, press the ground away. We'll do that again. Breath in, lift the chest up, tailbone up. Exhale to round, hug your belly button in, dome through your upper back. One more time, breath in, feel your fingertips pressing solidly into your mat. Breath out, feel the rounding of your spine, the space in your back. Return to a neutral spine, tuck your toes, shift your hips up and back, downward dog. If you'd like, take a moment here, gently pedaling out through your heels, pressing one heel down as you bend the opposite knee. And then bring your heels to stillness, press down through the fingertips. Let your chest gently melt back towards your thighs as you pull the front of your rib cage in. Come forward into your high plank hold here. As you press through your fingertips, spin the triceps in. You feel this rotation of the eyes of your elbows forward. Get longer in the next thing, lifted out of your shoulders. Legs are firm, belly pulls in. Take an inhale, lower the knees, lower the chest, all the way down. Point your toes, half lift. Tops of the feet stay connected to the mat and lower the chest. Let's do that twice more. Inhale to let the chest rise, firm up your legs and lower. One more time, breath in, shoulders back, neck is long and lower. And press up to a tabletop, hands and knees, tuck your toes. Downward dog, shift the hips up and back. Lower your knees down onto your mat, finding your way back into the tabletop. Slide your left hand in, maybe just a couple centimeters. Spin your left shin out and extend the right foot to the back of the mat. Plant the foot down as you reach your right arm up. So this is a modified option of a side plank. You can always bring your knee down to the ground if you need at any point along the way. Lift the right foot up off of your mat, extending through the right heel, reach the right hand up overhead, getting even longer through the right side of your body. Press down through the inner edge of the left hand and stay lifted up out of the shoulder. Start to bring your right knee in towards your chest, reach back, grab a hold of your right shin, and then guide your right foot to the top of your mat. Reach the right hand back up to the ceiling. You're in a low lunge twist. Continue to press that left hand down into the ground as you wrap your right rib cage up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm back, down, and then forward. Let the left arm join Anjane Asana. Reach both arms up. Grab opposite elbows, pull the front of the rib cage in, let your chest lift, and then you can glide the heart back just a bit. Keep pulling your belly button up and in. Take a full inhale. Maybe the heart lifts up and back with the exhale. Rise all the way up. Plant your hands down on the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Three leg down dog, right leg back and up. And bend your knee and open your hip to the side. Allow your outer left hip to lift up and back. And maybe that right knee can lift up just a bit higher. Now as you straighten the right leg and circle the right hip forward, turn your chest towards your mat, hug the belly in, and then maybe see if you can lift the right heel up just a little bit higher, down dog split. Full breath in, right foot down to the mat, downward dog. Inhale forward, high plank, lower the knees or lower halfway hover. Up dog, lift the chest or half cobra. Down dog, send your hips up and back. Nice smooth inhale. Lower your knees down onto your mat. 
Move the right hand in, maybe just a scooch. Pivot the right shin out just a bit. Extend the left foot back as you reach the left arm up. So again, you can remain right here. You can always return here at any point through the practice. Lift your left foot up off the ground. Stay stable along the right side of your body. Core is engaged. Reach the left arm up overhead. Grow even longer through the left side of your body. Start to bring your left knee in towards your chest. Reach back. Grab a hold of the shin. Pivot your chest to the mat and step your left foot down. Left hand goes back up. You're in that twist. Outer left hip hugs back. Pull the belly button up and in. Swim the arm back down, forward, right arm joins, Anjane Asana, grab a hold of your elbows, and maybe you switch grip, opposite forearm in front, drag your left hip crease back, just notice if you're jutting the rib cage out, pull the front of the rib cage in, keep that containment, let the heart lift, glide back, maybe turn the gaze up. Full inhale, full exhale. Reach both arms up, hands down. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Three leg down dog, left leg back and up. Bend your knee, open the hip to the side. Give your belly button a little spin towards the right. Press down through the left hand. Now straighten the left leg. Roll the left hip forward, pulling the outer right hip up and back. Down dog split, press the ground away, lift the left heel a little higher. Downward dog. Inhale forward, high plank, chaturanga or knees down. Up dog, send the chest up, legs are strong. Down dog, hips up and back. Smooth breath in, smooth breath out. Big toes together. Look up between your hands, lift your heels, bend your knees. You can float or step to the top. Half lift, long spine and fold. Rise all the way up, reach high, palms meet, hands to the heart. Pause here and close your eyes. Just take a moment to reconnect to your breath. Feel your inhale, feel your exhale. And regardless of how challenging this practice may become for you, you have the power to choose. Whether you become frustrated, or whether you remain calm and flow with your breath. Let your eyes open. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, reach both arms up high overhead. Dive forward over your legs. Half lift, long spine. Bend the knees, palms down, step or float back, chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, heart lifts, shoulders draw back. Adho Mukha, belly hugs in, descend the hips high. Spread the toes out just a little bit and lift them off the mat, letting your heels extend down a little further. And then press your sit bones up a bit higher. Big toes together. Look up between your hands, lift the heels, bend the knees. Floater step to the top. Half lift, long spine, fold forward. All the way up you rise, reach high, palms meet, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up, grow long in both sides of the body. Dive forward over your legs. Half lift, long spine, bend the knees, palms down, step or float back, take your flow. Send the heart up, belly, legs in strong, down dog, 
hips high. Now as we continue through the practice, and feel free to modify those flows or bypass them at any point should you need. Big toes together, look forward, lift the heels, bend the knees, float or step to the top. Half lift, long spine, and fold. Rise all the way up, reach high. Hands to the heart. Inhale, both arms overhead, shoulder width apart. Utkatasana, bend the knees, sit low. Slide a little more weight into your heels. Draw the arms back while also pulling the front of the rib cage in. Take a full inhale. Sit a bit lower with the exhale. One more breath in. Fold forward, breath out. Half lift, shoulders back from the ears. Bend the knees, palms down, float or step back, your choice. Use your breath to guide you through each shape, each transition, each movement. Come forward into high plank, bring the big toes together. Slide the left hand in just a scooch and roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Take the right arm up high to the ceiling. Press the ground away. Reach the right arm up overhead. Lift the right foot off of the left foot. Start to bring the knee in towards your chest. Grab a hold of the shin and then guide your right foot to the top of the mat. Reach the right arm up. You're in a low lunge twist. Left knee is off the ground this time. Reach the right arm back. Down and forward, left arm joins, crescent lunge, both arms reach up. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. Press down through the right big toe and lift up out of your hips as you glide the heart back. Reach both fingers up to the ceiling. Open up, warrior two. Plant down strongly through the back foot. Flip the right palm, exalt, reach back. Come back to warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Turn the back toes in just a bit. And then reach, reach, reach forward. Triangle, right hand floats inside the right shin. The left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Press down through the left heel. Strengthen your right thigh. Draw your belly button up and in. And turn the left side of your body up to the ceiling. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Come all the way back up to warrior two. This time your left arm will sweep down and forward. The right arm will join. You'll come back into your crescent lunge. Lean the weight forward into the right leg. Toppling tree, lift your left foot. Take the arms back beside you. Keep pressing down solidly through the right big toe as you extend through the crown of your head. Slowly start to rise up. Bring the left knee towards your chest. Interlace the fingers around the left shin. Draw the chest up. Maybe the left thigh comes up a little bit higher. Now you can stay here if you want. Or reach both arms up alongside your head. You can stay here. Or kick your left foot forward. Extending through the left leg, soften the left tip down, hold for three, two, and release the left foot to the mat. Bend the knees, sit low, Utkatasana. Hugging your inner thighs back, sit a little bit lower. Full breath in, fold forward, breath out. Half lift, long spine. Bend the knees, palms down through your flow. 
floaters step back. Lift your left knee in line with the hip. 
and then step back. Warrior one in the feet, keep your eagle arms. Lift the chest, lift the elbows. Full breath in, lunge deeper, breath out. Unwind the arms, reach up, warrior two. Let's set up a really solid stance. Front knee aligned over your ankle, shoulders over the hips. Belly hugging up and in. Maybe you can sit the hips a little lower. Now inhale, straighten the front leg. Both arms go up nice and high. And come back to warrior two. Let's do that one more time. Breath in, straighten the front leg. Warrior two. Now stay low on the lunge, reach forward. Parjavakanasana, right forearm across the thigh, left arm up and over the head. Now you can see this variation, this is great. Option to place your right fingers on the outside of your right ankle. As you continue to reach that left arm up overhead, gain space along the left side of your body. Press the right thigh out just a bit. Hug the belly in. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Rise all the way back up. Warrior two. Flip the right palm. Exalt. Reach back. Come back to warrior two. Straighten the right leg, hands to the hips. Turn the right toes in. Lift up through the chest. Hinge at your hips. Fingertips to the ground. You're gonna walk your hands forward like you're taking your upper body into a downward dog. Let the chest melt to the ground. Sink the weight towards the heels but softly press your toes down as well. Take a nice smooth inhale and a smooth exhale. Walk your hands back in underneath the shoulders. Okay, listen. You're gonna walk your hands to your left foot. And so you're probably turning away from your screen, that's okay. Drop the back knee down. So now your left foot is forward. Reach both arms up high. Circle the arms behind you. Interlace your fingers. Extend the knuckles down. Hug your belly button up and in. Roll the shoulders back. Smooth inhale. Smooth exhale. Release that bind. Reach both arms up. Take your hands down to the ground. Tuck your back toes. Lift your knee, step back, high plank. All right, connect your big toes, left hand in just a little. Reach the right arm up. Now listen, a little bit different for this plank. Start to wrap your right forearm underneath your body. As you spin to the ground, place the right forearm on the ground, and then reach the left arm up. So now you're in a side forearm plank on the right side of the body. Now wrap the left arm down, find a forearm plank, both forearms are on the ground. Interlace your fingers. Walk your feet in closer, coming into a dolphin pose. Now you can stay right here and play with just lifting and lowering your heels, feeling a bit of weight transfer forward into the arms and shoulders. Or walk your feet in a little bit closer. Take your right leg up and play with some little L hops. Bending the left knee and hopping the foot off of the ground. And if you're comfortable, you can come into a forearm stand. Taking both legs up. If you have a wall behind you, great, play with that. And then when you're ready, both feet lower down, knees down, child's pose. If you're still holding that forearm stand, no worries. Take your time there. And you can meet us in child's pose when you're ready. Soften through your arms. Soften through your shoulders. back 
back into a tabletop. Tuck your toes. Downward dog. Bring the big toes together. Look towards your hands. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. A little hopper step to your hands. Half lift. Long spine. And fold. Rise all the way up. Reach high. Circle the right arm underneath the left arm. Don't worry, we'll be spinning back around the other way, so if you're not facing how you started, that's okay. Lift your right leg up and over your left leg. Eagle. Squeeze the inner thighs. Lean the chest back. Notice if leaning back causes you to stick your butt out. Lengthen your tailbone down. And then keep the length of your spine, sit a little lower. Lift the right knee in line with the hip. Step back, warrior one with eagle arms. Slide the elbows up, lift the chest up. Nice long breath in. Maybe the chest glides back a little further. Unwind the arms, reach up. Warrior two. We'll take a moment again to set up a strong foundation. Maybe the back hip turns forward just a little. Light up the arms with more strength. But notice that the shoulders are creeping up to the ears. Draw them down. Inhale, straighten the front leg, both arms up. Come back to warrior two. Do that again. Breath in. Breath out. Reach forward. Left forearm across the thigh. Right arm circles up overhead. Press that right heel down. Maybe a little turn of the right hip forward. Option to take your left fingers on the outside of your left ankle. Wrap your right rib cage up. Strong breath in, strong breath out. One more. Warrior two, all the way back up. Flip the left palm, exalt, reach back. Come back to warrior two. Straighten your left leg, turn the toes in. All right, you can reach your arms behind you this time if you want, and hinge forward. If you like the position of your hands in that downward dog while in this forward fold, you're welcome to take that again. Just let your head soften. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. And now we'll pivot back to the top of the mat where your right foot should be forward. Drop the back knee down. Reach both arms up. Take your arms behind you, interlace the fingers. If this interlace of your hands is ever not accessible, maybe just hold on to the forearms. Hug the belly up and in. Shoulders slide back. Open up across the chest. Okay, release. Sweep both arms up, high overhead. Take both hands down to the ground. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Let's find our high plank. Connect your toes. Okay, now the right hand moves in just a little. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Okay, nice and stable here. Remember, you can always take your knee down. Now start to bring that left arm underneath the body and lower onto the left forearm. Spin to the left side of the body, reach the right arm up. Nice and strong, nice and strong. Circle the right arm down. Find your forearm plank. If you want to hold here, you certainly can. Start to walk the feet in, making your way into dolphin. You can stay here. Lift and lower your heels, play with that. Or this time, you'll lift your left leg up. And then you can play with some little L hops here. And if you make your way into a forearm stand, be there. Just breathe. And then when you're ready, knees 
down. Child's pose. Maybe this time you want to take your arms back beside your body as you rest your forehead down. Okay, lift your head, hands underneath the shoulders, press up into a tabletop. Drag your knees up behind your wrist, we'll set up for a climbing hero. Toes together, knees go wide. Alright, so you can always sit on a block uh, if that feels better for your ankles, knees. I'm actually going to use two blocks today and set them up behind me to recline onto. Okay, and if you've practiced with me before, you know I always offer a side variation. So uh, if you're staying upright, fingertips behind you, tailbone forward, sitting between the heels or on the block, and you can make your way back. All right, or you can lie down on one side of your body, rest your head on your arm that is underneath you, kick your top heel to your glute, grab the outside of the foot, 
and then bring your heel in towards your bum. So if you're taking that side variation, that is essentially the same exact shape that we're creating in our body right now, just one leg at a time instead. If you're in the side variation, or if you're in the regular variation, see what happens if you pull your rib cage in and down. And for those of you doing the half variation, go ahead and turn over to the opposite side. Once again, grabbing the top foot and drawing the heel in close to your bum. Okay, nice and slow. Start to make your way all the way back up to a seat. Anything that feels good on your body. So you can sit on your heels or on your bum on some blocks. And then let's come back into our downward dog. Extend the legs back, lift the hips up. Take your feet out mat width apart. So you create a little more space for the low back. Maybe even just a little wag of your tailbone side to side. Bring your feet back, dip with the part. You can stay in your downward dog or if you'd like to move through a flow, go ahead and do that with your breath. Lower the knees down. Turn around and lie down on your back. So you make your way onto your back. Bend your knees, feet to the ground. Arms beside you. Feet about hip width apart. To start with bridge pose, lift the hips up. You have the option to interlace your fingers underneath your low back here. If that doesn't feel comfortable, keep your arms beside the body. Pressing down through the big toes, lift your outer hips, squeeze your glutes, lift the chin away from the chest so you can breathe easily in and out. Nice and slow release. Let your knees come together. Turn your heels out. Take your arms up overhead. Find any comfortable position. You could also go back to that elbow hold if you'd like. Or you could even cactus the arms out wide. Okay, separate the feet and knees back to hip width. I actually like to take my feet a little bit wider for this next option, full wheel. Okay, you can return to bridge pose and re-explore that shape. Otherwise, full wheel, hands alongside your head. Make sure you have some space between your head and your hands. All right, just like I'm taking my feet a little bit wider, for my low back, you might want your hands a little wider for your shoulders, okay? So press into the feet and the hands. Briefly to the crown of the head, if you need to make any adjustments with the hands there, you can. And then press the ground away and lift the head off of your mat. Again, pressing through the big toes and lifting through the outer hips. Squeezing the glutes. Pressing through the fingertips, and if there's space available, maybe you press your chest towards your biceps. Okay, take one more long breath in, then nice and slow, chin to the chest, lower to the back of the head, all the way down. Once again, knees together, 
feet out wide. Rest your arms beside you. Close your eyes. And just feel the reverberation of energy moving throughout your body. Let yourself be comfortable in this stillness. One final variation. You can return to either of those previous two options, bridge or full wheel, or snag a block or pillow. Lift the hips up for a supported bridge. Slide the block under your tailbone. Wherever you've chosen to go, five rounds of breath. In supported bridge, you might like to extend the arms and the legs. Any pinching in the low back, make the adjustment so that you are not trying to force yourself into a shape where pain arrives. And then nice and slow, if you have not done so already, lower down or lift up to remove the block. And when you land, just land, keep the knees bent, no other movement, just pause, let your spine settle back in a neutral position. Bring your right knee in, interlace your fingers on your right shin. You draw the right thigh in closer, extend the left leg for halfway relieving. Release the right foot down, bring your left knee in. And now extend the right leg. Turn the thumb down so the fingers point out to the left edge. 
Gentle rock side to side. Unwind that hand. Tuck your toes down, or dog. Look towards your right knee, slide the, sorry, look towards your right wrist, slide your right knee forward, pigeon, place the shin down, and then wiggle your left leg back. If thread the needle feels like a better option for your body, turn around on your back, cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Walk the chest forward if you're remaining in pigeon. You can always use a block underneath your chest or forehead. Walk your hands underneath your chest. Sit on your right hip. We're going to do a twist. So if you've chosen thread the needle, you can stay on your back. If you're in pigeon, swing your left leg all the way around. You can step the foot on the outside of the right knee. You can also straighten your bottom leg if that left hip is lifted up off the ground. If you're on your back, your knees are gonna fall over to the right, okay? If you use blocks and pigeons, just go ahead and slide those back. All right, take the left fingers behind you, right arm up, and twist to the left. Lift up a little taller through the chest. Hugging the belly in, use the core to generate the twist rather than trying to Force your way into it by pressing the arm into the knee. If you want, you can even hover the elbow off of the knee. Take a full inhale. Use the belly to twist with the exhale. Okay, listen carefully. Those that are seated upright in your twist. Unwind and then place your right hand behind you. Press into your left foot. Downward dog. If you're on your back, then just come back with your knees in the center. Look to your left wrist, place the left knee behind the wrist, and wiggle the right leg out long. Thread the needle, cross the left ankle over the right thigh. And then once again, bringing yourself all the way forward. If you're in thread the needle, keep a flex in your left foot and tip your tailbone down just a little. If you're in pigeon, see if you can just soften your shoulders a bit. Hold on to your shins, ankles, or 
feet. Take a smooth breath in. Full deeper breath out. Imagine living your life without fear of expressing your dream. Imagine that you have permission to be happy and to enjoy your life. Imagine living your life without the fear of being judged by others. Imagine that you love yourself just the way you are. The reason I ask you to imagine these things is because they are all entirely possible. It is your perception of reality that you can change at any time. You have the power to create hell and you have the power to create heaven. So what will you choose to create today? I do encourage you please to stay in your Shavasana as long as you can. While this live cast will end momentarily, I encourage you to stay in stillness as long as possible. It is truly an honor to guide you through this practice. Thank you. Namaste. to see you again next week.